But my name is Jordan Kelly. I'm the head athletic trainer here at Moorhead State. Going into my first full-time year in this position, I took over last spring when Kyle left. I'm working on my eighth year here at Moorhead. I did two years as a GA, I left for a couple years and then came back and this is my sixth year as a full-time. Uh, my day-to-day -day job is to oversee and help run the sports medicine department. For us, we try to, try to preach family. Uh, being at a smaller school, our staff's a little bit smaller, but we, you know, everyone's willing to pitch in and help all the time. Um, it wants to be a place where you want to come to work. Like I said, really have that family atmosphere, um, be a place where you can build relationships with kids, coaches, all that come with us on a day-to-day -day basis. So for the student athletes, I mean, we're, we're probably sometimes the first person that they see on a given day. Um, so we can kind of get the opportunity to set the tone for how their day potentially can go. Um, but we, we provide, you know, the healthcare side of things, they're not always excited to see us. You know, if you're in here, you're, you probably have something going on and it's, it's not pleasant. Um, so we're trying to kind of brighten their day, be a positive spot for them. Um, and then hopefully that translates out on the field to know that they have somebody that, that has their back. Um, and then same thing with the coaches. You know, we want the coaches to know that we're having those traits of family and building relationships and things like that. We try to do that with our coaching staffs as well. And we hope that, you know, they, they feel like we're a part and we're somebody that's helping them and helping the athletes try to reach their best. So my start with sports medicine actually started when I was in high school. Um, I got hurt my senior year of football season, um, was injured most of the year. Uh, dealing with our athletic trainer who's a physical therapist in town a lot kind of inspired me gave me an opportunity to stay in athletics um, something I wanted to do um, and then something where I wasn't stuck behind a desk all day uh, and I ended up going to a school called Central Methodist University uh, it's a tiny little NAI school in Missouri it's a school of the time about a thousand people town of a thousand people uh, I went there because I had the opportunity to do athletic training and play football um, and started out with the idea of going pre-PT and then kind of fell in love with more of the athletic training side of things and just got into that um, and then had an opportunity. Uh, after I finished playing football, I was able to do an internship with the Rams while they were still in St. Louis. Um, and that kind of really got me into the, the higher level, the division ones, things like that, that really, really wanted to chase that dream. Um, I've been here ever since. Uh, absolutely. I was very fortunate here to have uh, Jamie Carver as my, as my boss when I first came here um, and got to see his leadership style, which is one that I think I try to echo and emulate a lot. Um, when I was at Austin P for a couple years, my boss there, Joni Johnson, also taught me a ton of things um, and had a very different leadership style. So it was nice to see and kind of pick and choose between which worlds of what I like from both and what I didn't like from both. Uh, and help me kind of grow in that aspect. I would think uh, definitely try to kind of get a feel for it as early as you can. Um, I know when I was in school at the high school level, you know, we had an athletic trainer and she was really there at football games. And like I said, she ran a PT clinic in town. So you would go do some stuff with her on your own time. But uh, a lot of schools now, especially here in Kentucky, have athletic trainers to so try to get involved, volunteer, help with them. Um, get a feel for it and see if it's something that you enjoy um, and like I said just throw yourself out there as much as you can um, and try to try to soak up as much as you can and I think that you know what it what it takes to be in that field you got to be able to be willing to kind of put your head down and work at times and then try try to remember that you know ultimately you know we're here to help people um, and then at the same time like you get a great opportunity to build relationships with people you get a ton of one-on-one -on -one time with them um, it definitely, for me, beats sitting behind a desk, if that's my, my pitch. Uh, I think the ultimate goal for this is just to kind of continue and really push that family environment here. I want this to be a place that, that people, people really enjoy and we leave a lasting impact. Um, you know, I try to say that one of my goals with, with the athletes is to have a positive impact on their life in some way, capacity. Um, for me, my faith's very important in trying to, to show that through my work 
um, and leave that lasting legacy is super important to me. And then I also think just for the future, kind of my plans are just to continue to do that um, and to, to continue to build this and hope that this department can come something that, you know, people, people come back whenever, really it's when people come back at homecoming, hey, come back, hey, I wanna stop in the training room when I come back to visit, like I wanna see those people and, and not just necessarily the person that worked with me specifically on a day-to-day -day basis, but my goal would be is that every athlete wants to come in and see all of us and say, hey man, that place is a family, that place is special, like they have something really good going there and it was something I was really glad I got to be a part of.